The Diplomat, 12th of March 2024, The China policy divide between Trump and Biden is greater than you might expect. The two presidential candidates struck numerous parallels rhetorically. However, they have taken an entirely different approach to competition with China. Although numerous individuals disapproved of the idea of a rematch between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, the result of Super Tuesday effectively ended Nikki Haley's attempt to challenge the former Republican president, as the second presidential contest between Biden and Trump approaches its decisive moment in November, both candidates are striving to increase the pressure on China. Thus, some contend that the United States' overall China policy may remain largely unaffected, irrespective of the victor. To put it rhetorically, that could be valid. Nevertheless, the disparity between their strategies regarding China might be more substantial than initially expected. After 60 years in politics, Biden has proven to be adept at achieving a delicate balance in his China policy by adapting his message to suit the needs of various audiences. From a domestic perspective, the early stages of his presidency were marked by an extensive anti-China sentiment prevalent in the United States. This sentiment was fueled by conjecture regarding the source of the COVID-19 pandemic and China's assertive wolf warrior diplomacy. Given the circumstances above, Biden maintained the most prominent measure he had rolled back under Trump, the tariffs imposed on Chinese imports. Throughout his presidency, Biden implemented systematic measures to progressively intensify the assault on Beijing's technological advancements while avoiding substantial opposition from apprehensive Americans. During his presidency, Biden implemented his China policy calculatedly to appease the widespread anti-China sentiment among the American public while minimizing the political repercussions. By adopting this strategy, Trump not only prevented his political adversaries from depicting him as lenient towards China but also evaded a substantial portion of the censure he encountered concerning his interactions with the dominant Asian nation. In contrast to Trump's isolationist position, Biden has positioned himself on the international stage as a coordinator among the United States' traditional allies willing to cooperate with China. Biden has successfully united allies in the Indo-Pacific and worldwide in opposition to China's aggressive actions and military buildup in the South China Sea. In doing so, he has reaffirmed the steadfast leadership position of the United States amidst China's aggressiveness. Conversely, he has actively pursued diplomatic relations with China, orchestrating high-level dialogues to alleviate the escalating tensions between the two countries. This encompasses bilateral discussions and meetings with Chinese President Xi Jinping, notwithstanding intermittent obstacles like the Chinese surveillance balloon that traversed the United States mainland in early 2023. Despite some degree of success that Biden has attained in his dealings with China, his broader foreign policy contains significant faults. Two notable setbacks in the Middle East have presented China with fresh geopolitical opportunities. Initially, the disorderly withdrawal of American military forces from Afghanistan significantly eroded the trustworthiness of the United States' military obligations, particularly in discouraging adversaries such as China. Additionally, the Biden administration has encountered difficulties in providing a tangible resolution to the protracted Israel-Hamas conflict. The leadership image of the United States and the Global South has been significantly damaged by its veto of an immediate humanitarian truce in Gaza. However, this has unintentionally bolstered China's position as a proactive peacekeeper via its shuttle diplomacy endeavors. These foreign policy blunders have the potential to perpetuate preconceived notions about the Republicans' perceived superiority over the Democrats in the realm of foreign policy, which could ultimately benefit the GOP. To partially alleviate the adverse consequences of these setbacks, which have the potential to incite domestic discontent in the contemporary United States and engender skepticism from the global community, it would be logical from a political standpoint for the Biden administration to direct its attention toward a less contentious adversary, China. Biden's portrayal of China-US relations as a competitive dynamic serves as an illustration of this approach. This motif was further underscored in his 2024 State of the Union address. However, Trump's stance on the delicate balance between domestic and international dimensions of foreign policy differs significantly from that of Biden. Under the tenet of the America First doctrine, the former president frequently disregarded concerns regarding the undermining of U.S. global leadership in favor of actions that he perceived as economically beneficial for the United States. Therefore, in 2020, 
Shortly after signing the Phase 1 trade agreement intended to rebalance trade between the two countries, Trump was still willing to refer to China-U.S. relations as the best relationship we've ever had during his State of the Union address, despite frequently adopting a negative tone when addressing China. Despite Trump's recent boasts regarding his intentions to instigate a second China-U.S. trade conflict by imposing 60 percent or more tariffs on Chinese goods during a potential re-election, realizing such measures is exceedingly improbable for two primary reasons. First, numerous business and rural Republicans have already voiced their opposition to Trump's proposals to impose new tariffs on Chinese imports, some GOP China hawks have even joined forces with Democrats in their dissent. Furthermore, Despite the gradual recovery of the U.S. economy during the Biden administration, the perils of recession and inflation continue to exist. Tariff increases on Chinese imports have the potential to devastate the U.S. economy once more, which would be in opposition to Trump's goal. His policies have consistently rested on the promise of fostering economic expansion. The most notable distinction between Biden's and Trump's China policies is their respective stances on Taiwan. Biden has stated unequivocally on numerous occasions that the United States would defend Taiwan if China launched an unprovoked attack. Moreover, despite China's growing assertiveness, he has continued to fortify alliances and partnerships in the Indo-Pacific region. On the contrary, Trump labeled Taiwan an economic adversary, asserting that it distracted American enterprises. Trump, who is affiliated with the new right faction of the Republican Party, has intensified his efforts to achieve isolationism, as evidenced by his rejection of a Senate measure that would have authorized foreign assistance for Taiwan, Ukraine, and Israel. China speculated that in the event of a Trump presidency, the United States might abandon Taiwan due to its apathy toward the island. Although Biden maintains a steadfast focus on competition with China, his extensive political acumen renders him more foreseeable than Trump, whose control over the Republican Party is more rigid than ever. The discourse surrounding the competition with China has transitioned from an economic perspective to a philosophical and political one during Biden's tenure as president. Therefore, the November 2024 election in China will pit an unpredictably partisan opportunist against a predictable hardliner. Both presidential candidates will probably escalate their anti-China rhetoric with the approaching election. Nonetheless, more precise renditions of their China policies will surface elucidating further intricacies of the divergence in policy, 